The Red Sox front office report this week brought to you by John Sewer and Drain Cleaning, the name to know when your drains don't flow. Also by Shaw's and Star Market, where you can win free groceries in their Grand Slam summer sweepstakes by Sherwin-Williams and by Kentucky Owl, the wise man, American straight bourbon whiskey. And it is Brian O'Halloran who joins us this week on the Harbor One Hotline. Hey, Brian. Hey, Greg. How you doing? Doing well. Um, a rough one last night. I was, uh, from your perspective, and I know hindsight is uh, is twenty twenty, as the saying goes. But maybe a mistake using Whitlock in that situation so soon after uh, he comes back. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that honestly. I mean, um, Whit had had one under one outing under his belt, and and uh, has been thrown well. Uh, in his, both in his rehab and, and when he came back. And, um, you know, we're going to rely on, on him and, and, and others, of course. Uh, and the bullpen is, you know, um, you know, has really performed well. But, you know, you're going you're gonna to get hit once in a while. And uh, it's just the way it went last night. Brian, it does seem like every day it's a different headline for this team, whether, you know, you need help with the starting pitching or then the bullpen looks great, then the next day it'll be a reverse. Right now it seems like the starting pitching you guys have figured out, but the bullpen yesterday did not look good. What is it about this team that you can't have everybody performing well at the same time? Yeah, it's it's been an inconsistent season, um, and it has been a struggle to kind of, kind of line everything up where all all phases are going well. Where the, you know, we've had stretches like you said where where the bullpen's been uh, well, the bullpen's been pretty consistent all year. It's never going to be perfect, but it's been pretty pretty consistent all year. Starting pitching, uh, you know, at different times has struggled at different times has has um, you know has performed well, and the offense has been up and down. So. Um, it it is a you know um, it has been a struggle to line that up, but we have a great opportunity in front of us. Um, you know we're not where we want to be. We're three games out of the wild card. We want to get to the postseason. We do have a, a a much healthier team right now. Knocking on wood as I'm as I'm speaking, um, and uh, and with with the guys back both both uh, on the pitching staff and now with Trevor back, um, you know uh, we're we're poised to hopefully make a run here and 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 try to get our find our way into the postseason. Brian, I come from the world of football, so things are a little bit different on how you know you look at games versus series in baseball. But what, how important is it to make sure that the message for these guys is don't give away this series again against Washington, win the series against New York because you know the importance of the Houston series, which will be coming up. What's that message like? Uh, what are you telling those guys? I know you try not to have them look down the schedule, but also understanding what's at stake with these next, this series with Washington and New York. Yeah. Every game and every series is, is important. And we're, we're trying to win series. I mean, obviously every night you're trying to win the game and, uh, but you play 162, you're not going to win them all, but you're, you know, our focus is trying to, trying to uh, win series as, as we go forward here. And if we, if we do that, you know, we have one after, after the tough one against uh, Toronto, we've won the last two and got a chance to, go out today and win a series. Um, and uh, so the focus is, is on, um, you know, the, the right now and every game is important. Um, and really it's, um, I think like, as far as like messaging, I think it's, it's just more of an, an environment and atmosphere that, that Alex and the coaching staff and the veteran players create. Um, you know, I, I don't think there's any issue with our guys being, being focused on winning and they know the, the, um, you know, opportunity that's in front of them and, and just got to focus down the stretch here and, and try to keep winning series. Brian, is there a chance that Brian Bayo is going to be shut down before the end of the season or at least see his, um, his innings limit reached uh, as the Sox are trying to uh, fight for a playoff spot? No, that hasn't been a consideration or a discussion at all. Um, you know, Brian, uh, we, we, we're very um, deliberate with our – um, workload management um, as the season unfolds, and our, our training staff does an outstanding job of of working with our with our coaches and our manager to make sure that um, you know that that everybody's in a good spot health wise and workload wise, and um, don't expect any issues there. Was is the is the expectation whether it's from the owner or from you and Heim, whomever, is the expectation that this team should be a playoff team this year? And, and if they if they don't end up being, um, is, is 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 that a uh, a failure when it comes to this season? 
Um, I, I think like, you know, the way I always look at it is um, our goal every year is to, is to, uh, to get to the postseason and, and play deep into October and compete for a championship. So on, on one level, no, anytime um, you don't do that, um, that's uh, they, you didn't reach your goal. Um, but I think um, where we stand now is, you know, we have a, a team that's been inconsistent, but is, is, uh, is a, is a winning team and has a chance to, uh, you know, to achieve uh, at least one of our goals, which is, which is to get to the postseason. Um, and so that's what we're focused on. But, you know, we've talked a lot about uh, the trade deadline and, and what you guys did and didn't do, but is, can we assume that because you didn't add significantly that you felt like at that point, a couple weeks ago, this team was good enough to be a playoff team without adding. Um, yeah, I, okay. I, I mean, I think as we as we talked about, I think a couple of weeks ago, you know, we uh, we looked at a lot of different opportunities uh, at the trade deadline and, and ended up only doing a, a couple of small things. But um, but uh, yeah, there there is a belief in this team um, that that it is a it, it is a uh, a team that can make the postseason. Now we ha- again we have to go out and do it. We're three games out of the wild card right now, so. Um, we're not uh, quite there yet, but um, but we get so we have some work to do uh, down the stretch. But yes, there's a belief that this team um, can can make the postseason and is capable um, of of uh, of getting deep into October if we're able to get there. Brian, I just don't understand the trepidation of admitting a change in philosophy. In almost every other season, the Red Sox would have added something of note at the deadline, but there is this desire to replenish a farm system that is not always been evident with the Red Sox under the stewardship of John Henry. Why, why is the organization so wary of saying that there has been a change in the approach there? Yeah. So, I mean, I think I said this to you two weeks ago. Um, I, you know, I, I've been here the whole time and I don't see it that way. It's not trepidation. It's just, that's not how I see it. Um, and, uh, you know, there have been years, uh, again, dating back to 2005, 2006, there, there are other years, um, when just the the uh, sort of deals that were out there for us, regardless of, of you know where we were in the standings, which were you know we were in the fight, um, just didn't make sense. And and that happens um, sometimes. And other times you can find deals that that make sense, whether what, whatever side of the the ledger you're on in terms of buying, selling, or somewhere in between. So um, I mean, I think the the way I see it, the the philosophy here has always been um, to um, to, to build uh, a, a team that has a chance to compete for a championship every year. Um, and to do, to do so, you need a strong farm system. Um, we haven't always lived up to that, but that's always been the goal. The Sherwin-Williams question of the week is from Gabriel Portillo from Portillo Property Partners in Revere. Um, are there any plans to continue to update Fenway Park to bring more value to fans, players, and staff? Yeah, uh, great question. I think that that's um, something that we're, as an organization, we're always trying to do, and, and I think you know this ownership um, has you know has has consistently done that in the last you know, twenty plus years, and um, so uh, I'm probably not the absolute best person to, person to speak on that, uh, given my role, but I do know that. Uh, we continue to try to improve the fan experience uh, at Fenway and to improve the uh, improve the ballpark in any way that we can. Okay, I have a follow up, but uh, first, ask Sherwin Williams how you can make every day feel like game day with over fifteen hundred colors and a top tier coaching staff. Shop online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin Williams paint store today. Uh, Brian, do you have anything to do with the condiment selection that is available at Fenway Park? No, but I'd be happy to to pass on any feedback. Okay. There seems to be some who are upset that the Goulden's spicy brown mustard is no longer available for their Fenway Frank. Yeah. Um I I I, I might put myself in that group as well. Oh, okay. Um you know, so um let me see, let me see what I can find out about that. I I, I wasn't aware of that, but okay. uh, I I am a big fan of spicy brown mustard. You so. are. Well, Let me look yeah. into that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, can Change. you? I mean, I. You know, there are some fans that are actually physically bringing their own. Right. 
Golden Spicy Brown into the park. I feel like, uh, Brian, as a fan of the Spicy Brown, you could be the man to lead this charge <laughs> for the for those who enjoy it on their hot dogs. And I feel is, like is, I feel that like what you guys really is that what you guys really want me focused on the next well, month and a half? Change <laughs> has to start from within. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, it would be an addition. It would be a post trade deadline addition right. to the Fenway experience. <laughs> and I think that you could, if anybody can make it happen, you can make it happen, Brian. All right, let me look into that. All right, okay. There you All go. Right. Get it All back right, by postseason. Uh, uh, yep. All right, Brian, thanks for joining us, and we will talk to you again soon. All right, thanks, guys. Take care. All right, Brian O'Halloran, general manager of the Boston Red Sox.